We need to give the UPAC name of this compound that they have kindly given it to us in a Newman projection. And the first thing that I want to point out is that in a Newman projection, the circle represents two carbons. So we should actually start right there. And I'm going to put the two carbons that are going to be represented or that are being represented by the circle. I'm going to put them down. One of them is going to be the front carbon, the other one's going to be the back carbon. It makes no difference which one is which. But in the front carbon, I have a methyl and I have two hydrogens. So I'm going to go to one of them. Obviously, the Sharpie is not working. And I'm going to put one methyl and two hydrogens. Excellent. So the front carbon is already done. The back carbon has two hydrogens and this big group right here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the other carbon, the carbon that we have left, and I am going to put there my two hydrogens and this big group right here. So I'm going to start with the CH2. I'm going to expand this isopropyl right here. There are two methyls attached to this CH right here. So I'm going to expand it because I don't want to make any mistakes when we're naming this according to the UPAC system. So I have a CH2, a CH with two CH3s attached to it. There's two hydrogens again in the back carbon here and here. The front carbon, which is the one on the left, has two hydrogens here and here, and then a CH3. So always check your work before you give me an answer. Now the longest chain on this compound is one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So the parent name of this compound is a hexane. And notice that I only have one methyl on my whole six carbons right here. So I'm going to try to give that methyl the lowest possible number so that I have to start numbering from the right side of this molecule. And this carbon would actually be carbon number two. So this Newman projection that they gave us is actually 2-methylhexane and we're looking at it uh, down carbons 4 and 5 to make this Newman projection right here. 